Hello everybody. Well, you're probably wondering why I bought another tiny helicopter when I have my blades and my V933s. Well, the smallest helicopters that I actually have with brushless motors are 200 and 250 sized. So, with the tremendous luck that I've had with the WL933, which is brushed, I just couldn't resist seeing what the same size heli would do with a brushless motor, the diameter of a dime. What caught my eye also was that it came with an upgraded transmitter with unusual adjustments on it like head leveling and turbo. Well, I want to find out what that means. So I hope it's as durable as the V933, which I only ever broke the tail rotors. I now build them up with little Bondic laser cement before flying. I've never broken a tail rotor since. Um, also note the V977 has a switch to turn on all six axis gyros for beginners and a way to turn off three of them so you can do 3D. Hmm. Okay, first we're going to take a look at the V933 flying for comparison. You know, what you see in line of sight flying is that because of the color and size, it actually is blending in with the trees in the background. So for line of sight flying, that alone could be challenging by itself. Because if you can't see it, you can't fly it. Um, FPV flyers never see their planes, so they, they don't even have to worry about it. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, the brush motor version strains and it loses lots of power for recovery from a full-on loop after only a couple of minutes. A lot, that's full throttle. So see, it's getting out of power. We'll try that brushless now and see how it works. Wow, three boxes, that's kind of neat. Oh, look at that. All right, transmitter, spare parts, and helicopter. I got these batteries, they're 30C, uh, 600 milliamp, and uh, the whole charger and everything for under 18 bucks. And also, uh, I know that from experience that since you can't get that throttle hold switch off fast enough, you'll break your tail boom. So what I did was I ordered a package of spare parts, so I think it was another 18 bucks. And this came with the sets of blades. I like white blades. White blades are so much easier to see when you're doing 3D. And it also came with four tail booms and four gears. Now these gears, I just imagine they're giving you the gears because with the brushless motor, when you hit the ground, it's probably going to, before you ever get that throttle hold switch off, uh, you're going to tear a tooth up. So I'll probably be using a lot of Bondic on teeth. <laughs> and extra tail rotor blades, which I'm going to beef up with Bondic too. So uh, it came with two extra tail rotor motors and the wires to wire it all up. This is a more quality transmitter than usual. It even is marked idle 3D. This is your 3D switch. When I bring that switch, if you look at this little helicopter on the picture here, you'll see that's normal. When I throw the switch here, that means it's inverted for inverted flying. The switch on the other side of the transmitter is the throttle hold up here. This means that it's going to lock the uh, throttle on all the time, and if you want to shut it off, you have to shut it off like that. So if there's an emergency, that's the fastest way to get out of the 3D. I usually try to hit the idle up, but it's better to go ahead and kill it as soon as you can. And as you see down here, when it's off, there's an X right there, and that shows that the uh, motor is dead. So that's a kill switch there. And here is the uh, dual rate switch. So there's an H here. If I push that, now it says L. Now it says H. Okay. This is the uh, 3D switch over here. This turns on 3D or 6G. And when it's blinking, that means that it's in the... Uh, that's in the 3G mode with three gyros and when it's not it's in six that's for beginner of course all these new transmitters all you gotta do is flip the switch like this and that changes it from, from, from mode one 
it's an amazing setup this would be uh, mode one and you just throw that switch see the throttle stays up there I throw that switch now now this side becomes the regular stick and this is the throttle it's pretty ingenious just that one switch all right so we look like we're ready to go here let's uh, put the battery in the machine and see what happens So let's take a look at this tiny machine, which is also fly barless. Wow, listen to that. What a sound. The pitch only is positive there's no negative pitch but say you're hovering along now at about this throttle and you throw the switch now what happens is we have reverse pitch at the center line center throttle zero pitch so now we can uh, fly upside down but you're not in a, a low rate this thing is pretty sensitive in the 3d mode without the six gyros okay so that's how that works. So let's see how it flies with the stock battery.
Tung.